Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Hope you all are in the best of your health and fantabulous as always and as I always want you to be. Today in School for Elders, I have a very inspiring story of Beatrice Woods. Beatrice Woods is a multi-talented human. Uh, she was an artist, she was a ceramist and she was an actor also. Um, she was an American and uh, at the age of 98, she has put her latest exhibition, um, I mean, for everyone, right? She has uh, uh, done her latest exhibition of all her collections. So there is no age for this lady. She's unstoppable. And uh, she died at the age of 105 in March 1998, um, just after celebrating her birthday. And if anyone would really want to know about her uh, achievements, her awards, and as many people say that her character is really inspired by uh, the story of Rose in Titanic, uh, the Titanic character. So it's quite similar to that. So if anyone would really want to know about this personality, I'll be posting the link of her Wikipedia profile in the description box. You may go through. And today I have a very beautiful and simple wellness mantra on this Koja Giri or Sharad Purnima. It's a saying, this is a Kartik Mats Purnima. I mean, Kartak Mahina, as we say. So uh, this Purnima is a festive season's Purnima, right? So the moon is really auspicious and beautiful and it's Sola Kala Sampurna moon. So the, I mean, if you can't do anything, people generally do that. They prepare a Kheer, I mean, it's an Indian cuisine uh, and put it outside uh, so that all the blessings which moon is giving because moon can bring um, I mean bring so much disturbance in sea and it can bring calm also so it can uh, affect our overall health also so many people what they do they put that kheer under the moonlight and in the morning they eat so if you can't prepare the kheer if you don't have that time if, if you're not knowing you may just put simple water and um, you may drink that because that will be water is the quick absorbent of all the energies so you may put water under moonlight and moonlight should fall actually on that glass water it should be in glass jar whatever you are putting either it's a key or it's whatever so put it in a glass uh, container so that it should absorb a uh, moonlight and rays of moon and it should have positive effect on your body and it actually works i mean uh it's not like that you eat only unhygienic, unhealthy and you have a wrong lifestyle and you just eat one day this keel. I mean, it's not like that. I'm, it doesn't function like that. However, uh, yes, it would definitely have positive effects on your health and well-being if you will do this. Uh, and it's very simple. I mean, you can drink water only. That is fine. And you may light up candles because that's an awakening night, right? I mean, it's a saying. So... It has a very, 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 very much relevance because it's a two days Purnima this time. So wish you luck and please keep on sharing these wellness mantras with someone who really need it and someone who uh, really needs some motivation to share these stories also. So thank you so much. Gratitude. Bye-bye. Take care.